Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. It's the bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Let's start with Rascal Flats, Candy. Their lyric video for the new song, How They Remember You, is out. And it's kind of a tribute to their 20 years of history together. So, well, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, it is uh, great. You know, their 20-year anniversary tour was officially canceled, but uh, their final song to country radio has, has come out. Uh, Jake Owen and Kane Brown, just two of the dads celebrating on Instagram. The two of them with their young daughters performing music. Very nice. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. We go down to Nashville, but not for country music. We go to D.L. Hewley's uh, stand-up show in Nashville where he passed out on stage, and it turned out he was diagnosed with COVID-19. Candy? Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's frightening. Very much so for anyone in attendance yeah. and for him and, yeah, all that. Just, no, don't know. I know. In other crazy news, uh, Bubba Wallace, the black NASCAR driver, and I say the because he's the only one, uh, at Talladega this weekend at a rain-canceled uh, event, they found a noose in his garage someone had placed there, Candy. That is horrible. I mean, beyond, and I hope they find out who did that. They are working uh, the track Wrong with, with people with law enforcement. It's uh, it's insane. It really is insane. Uh, and they will, I'm sure, find out who did it. And uh, their faces should be made public on uh, on the the front page of every newspaper. And they should get punishment they deserve. Um, Ian Holm, the actor, 88 years old. He died of Parkinson's. Um, among other things, he's British and. Uh, he's been in a lot of things, but younger folks may know him as Bilbo in Lord of the Rings. Candy? Ah. Yeah. Uh, even though I've never seen it, I'm assuming younger people will know him as Bilbo in Lord of the Rings. Uh, Kurt Cobain's guitar. And when I say his guitar, the one he used on MTV Unplugged many, many years ago, Candy. Yes. Uh, it sold for a record $6 million at auction. Amazing. Wow, six million. I wonder yeah. who bought it. I don't know. It was a 1959 Martin D-18E. Now, the interesting story behind this is Kurt's daughter uh, and uh, ex-wife, Courtney Love, tried to uh, get it back. I guess Kurt's daughter gifted it to her ex-husband. Is that yes, right? Yes, before they were separated, which really, what was she thinking? And Yeah, it's insane. And um, they... Uh, could not uh, get it back, so he no. was actually the one that auctioned it off. Yeah, yeah for six million dollars. Wow. Nuts. Well, I hope it goes to a good home. Um, spring training facilities. Every single one of them has shut down for a deep cleaning after uh, a bunch of baseball players have tested positive for COVID nineteen. Baseball not looking good at this moment, Candy. No, I told you there'll be no baseball, and I don't no. think there's going to be any football. Well, let's get to football. Twenty three players on Clemson, which is like the number one team in college football, tested positive for COVID-19. They haven't even started practice yet, Candy. We know what wow. direction that, that's Wow, in. wow, and wow. Yeah. Uh, Disney Plus seven-day free trials are over. You want Disney now? You are paying Mickey Mouse. That's it. Oh, uh, hey. you mm-hmm. pay. That's it. And uh, Michelle Wee, who I remember like being 14, 15 years old on the, on the golf tour, she now had her first child. Candy. Look at that. Now yes. she's 16. No, I'm kidding. Uh, nah, stop. They, seriously, I, I mean, I really feel like she's still 14 years old. She, I mean, I, it's crazy. She's been on the time tour a long a time. Time is flying away. It's flying. Yeah. Me, uh, so congrats to Michelle. We, The Bachelor on ABC, uh, greatest seasons ever. That is tonight. Titan Games on NBC. Uh, I'm waiting for the end of the week, Friday, when the Will Farrell Rachel McAdams movie comes out on Netflix, Candy. Yeah. Um... I saw the trailer. It looks really dumb. Oh. But I will watch. Oh, <laughs> will watch. all right, all right. And you'll give us the reviews so the rest of us can decide. Listen, I sat through the wrong Missy and thought it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. So I uh, enjoyed yes. it. You you recommended it. And you know what? It was a few hours of not thinking about anything except laughing, which was good. And can I tell you, I recommended a movie to my father over the weekend, not on Netflix, called um, McFarland USA, starring Kevin Costner. 
Yeah. It is a feel-good movie. It's about him coaching a track and field team in California in uh, um, a poor neighborhood, and he, he's a high school track and field coach. I know it may sound boring to you, Candy. I have watched it a million times, and I made my parents watch it. My father said it. He said he needed five tissues for the movie. He really? said it was great. Yes, yes, great movie. I'm going to yes. have to check that out. McFarland, USA. Uh, there you have it. You're bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.